All right, first step is to factor all your denominators. The first fraction's denominator already factored. The second one, remember y squared plus four, the, the sum of squares is irreducible. There are no factors to that. But this last one, you can factor out a y, leaving a y squared plus four. So your LCD then becomes the factor y, the factor y squared plus four, and here I need a y, which I already have, a y squared plus 4, which I already have. And so those are my two LCD factors. If I take my first fraction's numerator 5 times any LCD factors that are missing from its denominator, it's missing the y squared plus 4, plus my next fraction's numerator 11 times any LCD factor missing there, it's missing the y. And then minus 20 times any LCD factor is missing here. They're not missing anything, so you leave it just as it is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, simplify the results here. So when I uh, combine my like terms, I wind up with 5y squared plus 20 plus 11y minus 20. So I see that my 20s, uh, my constants cancel. I get 5y squared plus 11y. So when I rewrite that, I'm going to factor out my common factor of y and I'm left with 5y plus 11. So there's my whole numerator simplified into factored form. I'm going to divide it by my LCD, so I'm going to return to my fraction form here, and then I'm going to reduce. I have common factors that can be removed, and this is my end result. 5y plus 11 in the numerator, y squared plus 4 in the denominator, and then my uh, domain restriction, because I canceled a factor from my denominator, I have to account for that additional domain restri restriction. Y can't be a zero, and so that would be my final answer for this.